Hello dear students, in this video I will continue with differential equations. In this video we will see various growth and decay models. Under various growth and decay models, the first model is population growth model. Let us understand this model with an example. All the example questions I have taken from the CBSC handbook. Example 13, in a certain culture of bacteria, the rate of increase is proportional to the number present. It is found that there are 10,000 bacteria at the end of 3 hours and 40,000 bacteria at the end of 5 hours. How many bacteria were present in the beginning? So, in a population growth model, the rate of increase is proportional to the number present. So, using this, we can find the the general solution of the differential equation which is given by if we take let p be the number of bacteria after t hours then the rate of increase in the number of bacteria it is proportional to the number present the meaning is that dp by dt dp by dt is the rate of increase in the number of bacteria with respect to time this is proportional to the number present which is p or we have dp by dt it is equal to kt now this k is nothing but it is the rate of growth or it is the constant of proportionality so dp by dt equal to kp now this is an ordinary differential equation of first order and first degree so we know how to solve this differential equation this implies dp by p equal to K dt. If we integrate both sides, integral dp by p equal to k integral dt. Integral dp by p is nothing but it is log p. Log p equal to kt plus the constant of integration or an arbitrary constant c. Now, this is log p to the base e. So, from this we get p is equal to e raised to kt plus c or it is e raised to kt into e raised to c. Now, this e raised to c we can have it as some constant lambda. This implies p of t equal to lambda into e raised to kt. So, this is the population growth model. This is the general solution for this differential equation. Usually questions of such type can be expected for 4 marks. The same question was asked in last year's question paper for 4 marks. Up to this step it carries 2 marks. Now, let us continue. It is given, it is found that there are 10,000 bacteria at the end of 3 hours and 40,000 bacteria at the end of 5 hours. So, we have got the number of bacteria at any time t, p of t is given by lambda into e raised to kt. Here it is given at the end of 3 hours, there are 10,000 bacteria at the, and at the end of 5 hours, there are 40,000 bacteria. So, given p of 3 equal to 10,000. This implies here from 1 we can substitute T as 3 and P of T as 10,000. 10,000 equal to lambda into e raised to 3 k. And it is also given P of 5 is equal to 40,000. At the end of 5 hours, the number of bacteria is 40,000. So, P of 5 equal to 40,000 implies 40,000 equal to lambda into e raised to here T is 5. 5 K. Let us take this as 2 and this as 3. Now, this is from 1. We are, we are using this equation 1 and we are finding relation between these two. Now, let us divide 3 by 2. Divide 3 by 2. 
lambda e raise to 5k upon lambda e raise to 3k equal to 40,000 upon 10,000. This implies e raise to 5k upon e raise to 3k is e raise to 5k minus 3k equal to 4 or e raise to 2k equal to 4 is nothing but it is 2 square. Now this e raise to 2k we can write it as e raise to k the whole square. So from this we get e raise to k equal to 2. Let us take this as 4. Now from here let us find lambda. 2 implies 10,000 equal to lambda into here e raise to k we have found it as 2 that we can substitute here lambda into 2 cube or from this we get lambda equal to 10,000 by 8. So, lambda is 1250. Now, we have found lambda. So, 1 implies P of T equal to 1150 into E raise to K. Now, we need to find how many bacteria were present in the beginning. So, at time t equal to 0, p of 0 equal to 1250 into e raise to 0 or this is equal to 1250. Therefore, 1250 bacteria were present in the beginning. So, it is better to write it separately. 1250 bacteria were present in the beginning. So, that is the answer. Therefore, P of 0 equal to 1250. So, this is the population growth model. This is how we have to go about when we have questions of such type. Now, in this question, up to finding this equation, it carries two marks. Then finding a relation for k, it carries 1 mark and the final answer carries 1 mark. So, a total of 4 marks for this question. The next model is compound interest. Now, let us understand this with an example. Miss Ranjini deposited rupees 10,000 in a bank that pays 4% interest compounded continuously. How much amount will she get after 10 years? How long it will take for the money to double? So, here we can see that Ranjini deposited rupees 10,000 that pays an interest of 4% which is compounded continuously. So, if money is compounded, compounded continuously, then let us take let A be the amount deposited for time t and R be the rate of interest. Then we know that dA by dt. The rate of change of amount with respect to time, it is equal to R into A, where R is the rate of interest. So, from this we get dA by A equal to R dt. Now, let us integrate on both sides. If we integrate on both sides, we get log A equal to RT plus C. Now, this is log A to the base E. As a result, we have A is equal to E raise to RT plus C or it is equal to E raise to RT into E raise to C. Now, let us take this E raise to C as A naught. This implies A is equal to A naught into E raise to RT. Let us mark this as equation 1. Here it is given Ranjini deposited rupees rupees 10,000. So, at time t equal to 0, the amount deposited is 10,000. At t equal to 0, a equal to 10,000 imply 10,000 equal to a naught into e raise to 0. a naught into e raise to t is 0 which is 1. 
Therefore, A equal to 10,000 into E raised to RT. Let us mark this as 2. So, this is the required solution for this differential equation. Now, let us go to the first subdivision. How much amount will she get after 10 years? So, we need to find the amount she will get after 10 years. R is given as 4 percent. R is equal to 4 percent. It is 0 0.04. For t equal to 10, a equal to 10,000 into e raised to rt. r is 0 0.04 and t is 10. 0 0.04 into 10. So, it is 10,000 into e raised to 0 0.4. Last year, the values for such expressions were given in the question itself. So, here also I am continuing the same. E raised to 0.4, it is 1.49182. So, this is 10,000 into 1.49182 or this is 14,918.2. Therefore, A equal to rupees 14,918.2. So, this is the amount she will get after 10 years. And then the next subdivision, how long it will take for the money to double? So, we need to find for A equal to 20,000, what is T? For A equal to 20,000, 2 implies, here we have to substitute A as 20,000. Because she has deposited uh, rupees 10,000. And we need to find the time in which the money will double. That is the money will become rupees 20,000. 20,000 equal to 10,000 into e raised to r is 0 0.04 t. So, these two will go. 2 is equal to e raised to 0 0.04t. If we take log on both sides, log 2 to the base e equal to 0 0.04t log e to the base e. Log e to the base e is 1. This implies log 2 to the base e, the value is 0 0.6931. 0 0.6931 equal to 0 0.04 t. So, from this we get t as 0 0.6931 upon 0 0.04. So, this is equal to 17.32 years. Therefore, t equal to 17.32 years. So, the, the time in which the money will double is 17.32 years. So, this is with respect to compound interest model. And the next model we have is Newton's law of cooling. According to this Newton's law of cooling, the rate of change of temperature T of a body is proportional to the difference between the body temperature T and the temperature of the surrounding medium. That is the rate of change of temperature T dt by dt. This is proportional to T minus A or we have dt by dt. It is equal to minus K into T minus A. Here it is Newton's law of Cooling. So, if a hot body is, it is placed in, in, a, in a medium whose temperature is less, then the temperature of the body will decrease. As a result, here we have a negative k. So, using this differential equation, we can find the general solution and we can, we can proceed with other solving of questions. 
Here is an example for Newton's law of cooling. A cake is taken out from an oven when its temperature has reached 185 degree Fahrenheit and is placed on a table in a room whose temperature is 75 degree Fahrenheit. If the temperature of the cake reaches 150 degree Fahrenheit after half an hour, what will be its temperature after 45 minutes? So here initially the temperature of the cake which was taken out from the oven was 185 degree Fahrenheit and it was placed in a, on a table in a room whose temperature is 75 degrees Fahrenheit. So the surrounding temperature A is 75 degree Fahrenheit. If the temperature of the cake reaches 150 degrees in half an hour, we need to find the temperature after 45 minutes. So let T be the temperature of cake after T minutes then by Newton's law of cooling we have dt by dt equal to minus k into t minus 75. We had dt by dt equal to minus k into t minus a, a which is the surrounding temperature. Here the room temperature is 75 degree Fahrenheit. So from this we get dt by t minus 75 equal to minus k dt. If we integrate both sides, log t minus 75 equal to minus kt plus c. This is log t minus 75 to the base e. As a result, we have t minus 75 is equal to e raised to minus kt into e raised to c. Now, this e raised to c, let us write it as lambda. So, from this we get t minus 75 equal to lambda into e raised to minus kt. Let us take this as 1. And then the first information it is given is a cake is taken out from an oven when its temperature has reached 185 degree Fahrenheit and is placed on a table in a room. So initially the temperature of the cake was 180 degree Fahrenheit. It means at time t equal to 0 the temperature was 185 degree Fahrenheit. From this we get 185 minus 75 equal to lambda into e raised to here we are substituting t as 0 e raised to 0 from this we will get lambda this implies lambda equal to 110 degrees so if we substitute lambda as 110 degrees in 1 1 implies t minus 75 equal to 110 into e raised to minus kt. Let us take this as 2. So, up to finding this step, it will carry 2 marks. Now, let us proceed. It is given, if the temperature of the cake reaches 150 degree Fahrenheit after half an hour. So, let us take uh, half an hour as the minutes because we are asked to find the temperature after 45 minutes. When T equal to 30 minutes, the temperature is 150 degree Fahrenheit. So, from this 2 implies 150 minus 75 equal to 110 into e raised to minus 30 K. Or we get 75 equal to 110 into e raised to minus 30 K or e raised to minus 30 k equal to 75 by 110. This when we simplify we get it as 0.6818. So e raised to minus 30 k equal to 0.6818. Let us mark this as 3. Here finding a relation for k will carry 1 mark. And now we need to find the temperature after 45 minutes. When t equal to 45 from 2, we have so 
So when t equal to 45 minutes, t minus 75 equal to 110 into e raised to minus 45k. We already know what is e raised to minus 30k. It is 0 0.6818. So this is equal to 100, 110 into e raised to. Now this 45 is nothing but it is 30 into 1.5. Since we know what is e raised to minus 30k, I am writing this as e raised to minus 30k the whole raised to 1.5. Here 45 is nothing but it is 30 into 1.5. So e raised to minus 45, it is nothing but e raised to minus 30 into 1.5 or it is e raised to minus 30, the whole raised to 1.5. Here we are having one more k. So e raised to minus 45k is e raised to minus 30k, the whole raised to 1.5. e raised to minus 30k, we already know it is 0 0.6818. This implies t minus 75 equal to 110 into 0.6818, the whole raised to 1.5. This is from 3. The value for 0 0.6818 the whole raised to 1.5 is given as 0 0.563. Usually such values are given in the question, were given in the question last year. And for this year we have to wait for the sample paper to see how we have to find these values. If it is given in the question paper well and good we can proceed directly. So this is equal to 110 into 0 0.56. So, from this we get t is equal to 75 plus 110 into 0.563, it is 61.93 or this is equal to 136.93. Therefore, after 45 minutes, T is equal to or approximately equal to 137 degree Fahrenheit. So, this is the this is the temperature after 45 minutes. So, finding the, uh, the final answer will carry 1 mark. Up to this step carries 2 marks. Finding a relation for K carries 1 mark. And the final answer carries 1 mark. And next we have carbon dating. Here carbon dating it is a, it is a technique by which the, uh, the age of plants and animals, the remains of plants and animals are estimated. Carbon 14 which is also known as radiocarbon is a radioactive form of carbon that is found in all living plants and animals. Scientists can find an estimate of age of remains of plants and animals. By comparing the amount of radiocarbon in it with those in living plants or animals. This technique is called carbon dating. So, it is useful in estimating the age of remains of plants and animals. So, here let us uh, find the differential equation and the general solution. Let A of t be the mass of carbon 14 after t s. So, if we take A of t as the mass of carbon 14 after t s, then dA by dt, it is equal to minus Ka. Here we have a negative sign because it is dK model. Here the amount of carbon present in it is decreasing. Now let us integrate both sides. Before that dA by A equal to minus K dt. If we integrate both sides, we get log a is equal to minus kt plus c. This is log a to the base e. So, from this we get a is equal to e raised to minus kt into e raised to c. Now, this e raised to c, let us take it as constant a naught. So, a is equal to a naught into e raised to minus kt. So, this is the general solution for this differential equation. 
and now, now let us solve uh, an example question on this model. 16th example, the amount of radiocarbon present after T years is given by A equal to A naught into E raised to minus lin 2. Lin 2 is nothing but it is log 2 to the base E. That is lin 2 into 1 by 5700 T where A naught is the amount present in living plants and animals. Find the half life of radiocarbon. Charcoal from an ancient pit contained one fourth of the carbon 14 found in living sample of same size. Estimate the age of charcoal. So here they have given the, uh, the solution directly. The amount of radiocarbon present after Ts is given by this relation A equal to A naught into E raised to minus lin 2 by 5700 into T. We need to find the half life of radiocarbon. Half life, half life is the time in which the amount of radiocarbon will become half of its amount, half of its initial amount. So here given A equal to a naught into e raised to minus lin 2 by 5700 t. So, this is what is given. We need to find the, the time in which a becomes half of a naught. For a equal to a naught by 2, we have a naught by 2 equal to a naught into e raised to minus lin 2 by 5700 into t. So, a naught and a naught will go. Here we have half is equal to e raised to minus lin 2 by 5700 t. If we take this e raised to minus lin 2 by 5700 into t, it becomes e raised to lin 2 by 5700 t. This is equal to 2. I am taking 2 to the other side. Now, let us take log on both sides. If we take log on both sides, we have lin 2 by 5700 t log e equal to lin 2. Lin 2 is nothing but it is log 2 to the base e. The logarithm table which we have is common logarithm. It is log 2 to the base. I mean it is it is log tables to the base 10. Here lin 2 is log 2 to the base e or the log tables which the log tables to the base e they are called natural logarithms. So lin 2 is the natural logarithm of Here log e, here we have log e to the base e, log e to the base e is 1. This implies lin 2 by 5700 into t equal to lin 2. So, lin 2 and lin 2 will get cancelled. Therefore, t is equal to 5700 years. So, the half life of radiocarbon is 5700 years. We are finding the time in which the amount of radiocarbon will become half of its initial amount. So, for A equal to A naught by 2, we have, we are finding T. After substituting the values, we get T as 5700 years. Moving on to the second subdivision. Charcoal from, from an ancient pit contained one fourth of carbon 14 found in living sample of same size. We need to estimate the age of charcoal. So, for second subdivision for A equal to A naught by 4, we have here in the given uh, equation, we have to put A naught as A naught, we have to put amount A as A naught by 4 and we need to find T. A naught by 4 equal to a naught into e raised to minus lin 2 by 5700 t. a naught and a naught will cancel out. This implies 1 by 4 equal to e raised to 
minus lin2 by 5700t or e raised to lin2 by 5700t equal to 4. I am taking this 4 to the other side, cross multiplying. So, we get this. If we take log on both sides, we get lin2 by 5700t equal to 2, we can write it as 2 square equal to lin 2 square or lin 2 by 5700t equal to 2 lin 2. This lin 2 and this lin 2 will get cancelled. We get t as 2 into 5700 or it is 11400 years. Therefore, age of charcoal is 11,400 years. So, this is the age of charcoal. This is the answer for this second subdivision. Moving on to the next model which is drug assimilation into blood. Again, using this example itself, let us understand the differential equation, the solution and finding the answer for this question also. It is given nembutal, a sodium salt, sodium pentobarbital acts as a sedative and has many applications. Suppose nembutal is used to anesthetize a dog. The dog is anesthetized when its bloodstream concentration contains at least 45 mg of sodium pentobarbital per kg of the dog's body weight. If the rate of change of sodium pentobarbital, say x in the body, is proportional to the amount of drug present in the body. Show that sodium pentobarbital is eliminated exponentially from the dog's bloodstream given that its half-life is 5 hours. What single dose should be administered in order to anesthetize a 50 kg dog for 1 hour? So, here it is given nembutal. It acts as a, as a sedative to anesthetize a dog and it is given a dog can be anesthetized if it has at least 45 mg of this drug per kg of the dog's body weight and it is given the rate of change of sodium pentobarbital say x is proportional to the amount of drug present in the body. We need to show that this is eliminated exponentially from the dog's bloodstream given its half life is 5 hours. So, first let us solve this. So, here it is given dx by dt is proportional to x. Here it is given rate of change of sodium pentobarbital say x is proportional to the amount of drug present. So, dx by dt is proportional to x. Or this is a decay model, the amount of drug reduces over time. So, dx by dt equal to minus kx. From this we have dx by x equal to minus k dt. Let us integrate both sides. When we integrate both sides, we get log x equal to minus kt plus c. This is log x to the base c. As a result, we have x is equal to e raised to minus kt into e raised to c or we have x is equal to x naught into e raised to minus kt. So, this is the required solution for this differential equation. Now, it is given, now it is as show that sodium pentobarbital is eliminated exponentially. So, we can see that it is eliminated exponentially from the dog's bloodstream. And then it is given its half life is 5 hours. Given x is equal to x naught by 2 for t equal to 5 implies. 
So from equation one, we have x naught by two equal to x naught into e raised to minus pi k. So these two will go. Or from this, we have half is equal to e raised to minus pi k. If we cross multiply, we get e raised to pi k equal to two. Let us mark this as. So up to finding the solution carries two marks and finding a relation for k carries one mark. And then it is asked, what single dose should be administered in order to anesthetize a 50 kg dog for one hour? So at the end of one hour, the dog should be anesthetized. So it is given a dog is anesthetized if it contains at least 45 mg of the drug per kg of dog's body weight so at the end of one hour for a dog that weigh 50 kg the amount of drug in the body after one hour it should be equal to 50 into 45 or it is 2250 mg only when at the end of one hour if this much drug is there in its blood the dog will be in anesthesia for one hour So for t equal to one hour and x is equal to two thousand two hundred fifty mg, we need to find the initial dose, single dose that should be administered. That is the amount of drug that should be administered in the beginning. So we need to find x naught. We need to find x naught. What is x naught? One implies two thousand two hundred fifty equal to x naught into e raised to minus k. Or we have x naught is equal to if we cross multiply two thousand two hundred fifty into e raised to k. Here we have e raised to five k as E raised to 5k equal to 2. It means e raised to k, the whole raised to 5 is 2. So we have e raised to k as 2 raised to 1 by 5. If we raise both sides to the power 1 by 5, that 1 by 5 and this 5 will cancel. So we get e raised to k as 2 raised to 1 by 5. This implies x naught is equal to 2250. Into two raised to one by five. We have the value for two raised to one by five given here. It is one point one four eight seven. Two thousand two hundred fifty into one point one four eight seven. This is two thousand five hundred eighty four point five seven five. Our x naught is approximately equal to two thousand five hundred eighty five. mg an initial dose of 2585 mg of sodium sodium pentobarbital it should be administered to a 50 kg dog so that it will be anesthetized for 1 hour so this is the answer i hope this video was useful for you if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe thank you for watching